We're going to continue on with uh, an American Scientific Python in one playlist. The first video covered uh, these topics. Uh, the second one, we're going to start with functions, conditionals, and then we'll do some loops, matrix, matrices, and linear equations. So we're going to do these topics right here. Let's go ahead and get uh, to our Python. Um, again, you can go to, if you just want to go to try uh, jupiter.org, that's probably the easiest way to get there, uh, or start up your um, Jupyter Notebook. Okay, so this is just an online version. Um, I'm going to start up uh, Jupyter Notebook again, and make sure you don't close that, uh, this black console right here, but you can minimize it. Okay, and I'll put this one off to the right, just so we can keep track of uh, what we're doing. And the last video, we covered some of these other topics. We're going to go down to functions, conditionals, uh, loops, matrices, and linear equations. So with that, let's go ahead and um, just resize this. And there we go. I'm going to select new and then go to Python. And this will start up a new Python notebook. So first of all, the first thing that we need to do in defining a new function is just def. And then we call our function a certain name and we return, for example, x squared. And if we want to be able to print uh, various um, values of this, okay, there is a point 0.1. If I put in 1, and if I put in a 2, and so on. Now I can also do, um, you know, use numpy as mp, and then I can say x equals numpy in space, all values between 0 and 1, and I'll use uh, 11 values. Let's go ahead and print out x. Okay, so I have these uh, values right there. And then if I do f of x, I'll see that it squared all of those values. Now, um, let's go ahead and uh, just put a conditional statement in here as well. Uh, to put a conditional statement, we'll say y our result um, equals x squared, but we want to check it. Uh, so we say if the result is greater than, let's just say if it's greater than 20, then we're going to say that the result is bad. So I'll do not a number. And then instead of returning x squared, I'll just return the result. Now if I run this again, I'm going to get an error because it can't process that all in, um, you know, it can't process it um, more than one element. Okay, so I need to uh, change my function to be able to handle those, or I can create a loop that will loop through all of those. So let's go ahead and create a loop instead. Um, I'm just going to say that y equals, and then x, um, and I'm going to do empty uh, like x. So the same size as x, and uh, but it's going to be empty. It's going to have no values in there. And then I'm going to say i equals 0. This is going to be my iterator, and I'll say for xi equals in um, x, so I'm going to have, as I go through this, let me go ahead and just print xi um, and get rid of these uh, really quick so it doesn't give me an error. And let's see, what do I have here? Uh, for xi in, okay, empty like, uh, empty like x, okay, I know I have an error here, but I'm not seeing it. Uh, let's go back down to that message. Um, it has, object has no uh, empty like, oh, there's x. There it is. Okay. So it just printed out all the values. But we want to go through those and process them one at a time. So I can't, couldn't do it all in one shot because I have this if statement in my function. And so let's go ahead and just say that yi equals and that is going to be f of xi. I'm going to plug in just one value at a time. And then I'm going to say i equals i plus 1. Um, okay, there I go. And then if I, let's go ahead and plot this now. Matplotlib uh, inline. And then import um, matplotlib dot plot as plt and then we want to plot x and y um, okay not callable oh plt dot plot there we go okay 
So there's my function there. I want to show it with uh, blue circles instead. Uh, there's our blue. Uh, those look like other uh, shapes. I'll do circles instead. Okay, there it is. Okay, so I've got this right here. I've got my a function. I've, um, as you can see, right up here, to find a new function, return the result. I have a conditional as well. Um, and then I also iterated through that list, uh, the NumPy array or vector there, um, created a blank, um, you know, just storage for the Y value, and then added to it uh, with all of those values, evaluating the function at each of the XI values. And then I just plotted uh, the results. Okay, so this is, um, this covers just basics on uh, functions, conditionals, and loops. Um, you can also change this if it's uh, you know, not equal to, if it's equal to, if it's greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, less than. Uh, those are all the different ways to do the conditionals. And then you can also have uh, else um, statements as well. Okay, I'm going to say that that is going to be equal to um, x squared. Okay, else is uh, going to be not a number, um, and you can also do an else if if you want in that conditional. So else if, uh, let's see, uh, residual is less than 25, then we can do a different function, for example. Um, you, know, you can say it's cubed. Okay, and then else is going to be, if it's greater than 25, then it'll get not a number. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to increase this so it's going to go up to uh, let's go up to five let's see now let's go up to ten instead oh I need a residual there though mm, that doesn't work because I need to evaluate that conditional based on the residual okay let's just say this if uh, it's residual we'll do that uh, residual equals residual okay I'm just going to leave that one alone Okay, or I can also do, if I don't have anything to put there, I can just say continue. Um, and then if uh, it's less than 25, let's go ahead and do residual, residual plus 2. And then go ahead and plot that. Um, continue is not the right one. Uh, I think it's pass. Let's see if that's it. Okay, let's just do pass there instead and it added a little bit to um, let's go ahead and add some more points here mm. let's do a hundred okay so we have some points we can see the break there and then after 25 it doesn't plot anymore okay so here I've put in a conditional um, I put in an else if and then an else and just uh, put in not a number and then if I print out for example, um, let's print y. This is going to be a, a lot of numbers, but you can see it goes until it gets to, uh, you know, greater than uh, 25. Um, if it's less than 25, then it adds that. Okay, so I do have one value that's over uh, 25 there, uh, or two, uh, but then it's not a number after that, and you don't plot the not a number values. Okay, so there it is with uh, functions, uh, conditionals, and loops. Let's go on to matrices now. Okay, so I have this uh, right here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, delete this one. Let's talk about matrices, just inputting them into NumPy. So I'm gonna have NP array, and then the separate rows are going to be separated by these internal uh, brackets right here. These are square brackets. So my first row is gonna be three, two. My second row is gonna be one, two. And let's go ahead and print out A. So there is my matrix A. And um, let's say we also have a B vector. Okay, I'm going to do array. This one's just going to be a uh, column or row vector right here. And then I want to be able to solve this. So let's say I have A times X equals B. This is a linear system of equations. And I want to be able to find out what X is. And so in order to be able to do that, you take uh, A inverse of both sides. So we're just going to do A inverse. I'm just showing you what this is. This is like a comment. Okay. 
a inverse of both sides, a inverse. Okay, and then this is just going to be the identity matrix. Any matrix uh, multiplied by itself is just the identity matrix. Oh, I keep hitting Control I instead of Shift I. Okay, and then that just equals any identity matrix times value just equals itself. So there's our solution to the linear equation. But we want to be able to do this in Python, and I'll show you three different ways of doing it. The very first way is you can, um, first of all, um, if we import numpy as np, that's our standard import, then what we're going to do is um, we'll do numpy lin algebra, linear algebra, inverse of a. Okay, so let's look at that. There's our inverted uh, a matrix. And then the next thing we want to do is uh, multiply it by with b. And we'll use np.product dot dot of those two. And there's our solution. OK, so this is going to be our solution one. And I'll go ahead and print that. OK, so there's our solution to x, given the a and the b uh, vectors matrices. Okay, solution two, uh, there's a little bit easier way to do this um, and more efficient as well. And so this is going to be with uh, solution two. We'll do numpy lin alg uh, linear algebra dot solve and we'll just do a comma b. We'll solve the same thing and let's make sure I get the same answer. Okay, same answer there. Um, I'll go ahead and get rid of this printing the a just so we can see our solution. Okay, I'm going to show you one more way to do this as well. And this is with SymPy. Okay, uh, I'm going to import that as SYM uh, just so it doesn't, uh, you know, I have SciPy, SP, sometimes I use that one instead. I'm going to create two new variables in SymPy. This is a symbolic way of solving it. Um, and so I'm going to create some new symbols. I'll cover SymPy just a little bit more uh, later. And don't put a comma between them, just say x, y. If you just uh, create a new variable, just one variable, you'll do symbol, symbol, OK, just like that, z. OK, but we don't need that one for this one. I'm going to create two variables. Um, and then I'm going to do sim dot uh, lin solve. And let's go ahead and do 3 times x plus 2 times y minus 1. I'm just taking that very first equation and multiplying it out with the a and the b. And then the next one, 2 times y. OK, end that, and then do a comma. And I need to feed in a tuple here, x and y. And let's go ahead and look at the solution. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to uh, put in the init printing. OK, so the very first thing you need to do with SymPy, um, if you're going to use it, is you want to make sure you initialize the printing. OK, so uh, let me see if I can remember how that looks. Uh, SymPy.init printing. I think that's it. Let's see if it's right. No, it's wrong. Init. Hmm. Uh, printing. I think it might just be one underscore. Let's try that. Ah, you know, what? I'm gonna need to go look at that again. Okay, simpy init printing. Okay, so if you ever need anything, I go to. Um, uh, there it is. So without the beginning underscore, there is the init printing. All right, and. Okay, so there's the analytic solution as well. You solve that with uh, SymPy. If you do the init printing, then it makes it look really nice. If you don't do the init printing, um, you can also do something like z equals at, and you can do sym, and do pretty print. Okay, and it's going to show up as you know one half and negative one fourth. But if you um, do the init printing, it'll look just a little bit nicer then this, uh, this method of printing, it's a SymPy function that prints the result in a kind of a text nice way. 
Okay, so there it is with uh, linear solution of equations. Um, and I'll go ahead and end this video, but um, let's just go back to uh, what we've covered here. We did uh, functions, conditionals, loops, matrices, and linear equations. The next ones that we're going to do are on to the nonlinear integration derivatives and so on.